All right. Back to the nonsense. Back to the nonsense. Okay. You guys need to let me know how the volume balance is, like if the game's too loud or something. Anyway. Let's refresh on what we're doing here. Take a quick look at the party again. Alright, yep. Your rock type. Psychic and flying, of course. The grass dragon, yeah. Of course. Perfect audio balance, that is good. Thank you, thank you for uh, just letting me know, and thanks for stopping by. Your psychic and steel. The good old Pineco. The mascot. And Clang. Got it. We are ready to go. Alright, so we're at... Oh, whoa! I guess it's been that long since I last played this. So we're moving on to the ice gym. Oh, right. I remember. There's bad stuff happening up here. Team Plasma's doing bad stuff. Yeah, the typings are great. The other Juniper. The situation. You should go after Team Plasma, but I'm gonna keep you here just to tell you plot. Thanks. And I'm just gonna sit here doing nothing. Oh, well. There we go. Bodyguard duty again. What does that do again? Doesn't that heal status ailments or something? I don't know. I'll immediately start out with you. When... Or not. Hi. Alright, you're not gonna fight me then. Fair enough. Okay. What do I want out first? Jinx needs levels. Go for it, Jinx. Oh no, what do we have in here? Oh, hey now. I want a Blaziken. That sounds pretty geek. That's not pretty cool. Okay. Oh, it's a ghost! Okay. See if this one shots it. Kind of hope it doesn't. Okay. Um. Let's go for it. I I want I want this Blaziken. Looks cool. Also, third stage ones have better stats in general. Nice. First shot. Fire Ghost. Fancy full restore? Ah, uh, yeah. That's what I figured. I don't even have the Blaziken with me. It's in the PC. Silly me. Up. Oh. Something is going wild atop the tower. Ah. Oh, full heal. Got it. Oh. Bit of glitchy stuff there. Ah! Oh, an Altaria! I love them! I love Altaria. 
Look at it, it's so cute, just sitting there. Don't really want one right now, but it's cute. Just playing this game again, just sort of reminiscing about all the Pokemon, how I love so many of them. I'm very excited about Sun and Moon. I'm debating whether or not to get digital download or the actual cartridge since I've gotten the physical copy of every other Pokemon game so far. But it might be hard to get a hold of one unless I reserve it, so we'll see. I might get the physical cartridge just for tradition's sake. Because why not? Okay. Up, oh, free item. Shiny stone. Not sure if I'm going to find a Pokemon that can use that. You get one digital and cartridge for the other one. The reason I don't get both is because, like, back in the day, like, I have a brother and we'd each get the other one. Like, we'd get both collectively. So that's what we've been doing this entire time, so might as well keep going with it. Oh, bother. Oh, well. And also, I'm not made of money. I'm actually pretty broke right about now. So I'd only really be able to afford one copy of it. Then again, I did, uh... Did recently go to a job interview, so maybe, potentially, I'll have a tiny bit of income. And, uh, I don't really get enough YouTube money that I'd be able to really buy much of anything. Like, I really don't get much of anything. <laughs> Just go real talk. Yeah, thanks. There's only one position left, apparently, and they're doing other interviews with other people throughout the week. So I'll find out in, like, a few weeks, whether I actually got it or not. I think the interview itself went well. Whether I actually get the job, that remains to be seen. Game design is a very competitive field, so I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't get it. Ooh. Oh, wow. Even with it not being super effective. Okay, let's, uh... I don't even know what type you are. I'll just go Medicham. Oh, I have Judgment. I remember now. That's cool. Well, whatever it was, it was a week to rock. Yeah, it is normally grass poison. Playing through these games also reminds me of the bad puns that the names are. Fungus, Amoongus. Yeah. Oh, it's steel type. Of course it's steel type. Oh, it's stealing something else. 
Okay, let me just help a little bit. I don't have many revives at all. Oh, right, lemonades. Ah, uh, the lemonades. Good old lemonades. Lemonades is all you need for any healing. It's incredibly cheap and effective. Blossom. Alright, go Psy Strike. Yeah, Lemonade does equal life. Both literally and, well, yeah. Like when uh, they re released the original Pokemon games on uh, Virtual Console, I got Pokemon Yellow. And uh, I got a bunch of Lemonades in. Still just as effective. It was slower. Everything in the game was slower. But still just as effective. Remember back in the day where you had to deposit key items because your bag got too full to hold them? Those were the days. Now the special stat was super broken. Hi! Welcome and thank you for showing up. Oh, power leveling stress. That's not a good thing to be maxed out on. Oh boy. Oh, I just remembered with the arena thing. That's uh that's coming to Sun and Moon. It's going to be like all Waylords, all the time, it's gonna be hilarious. What happened to Biome Exile? Well, I'm playing it right for this, and there's a video being uploaded in, like... There's a video that's gonna go public in, like, 15 minutes. So hold your horses. I've never ever had a set schedule before. Aw, oh, man. It's dark. Of course it's dark type. I try to do, like, a video a day, but... I never actually have a set schedule for anything. Never have. I can't reliably make enough content to have one. Because, you know, classes and education stuff. I said this before, but. Going to the same time as mine then? Yeah, I usually schedule mine for 3 p.m. my time, but uh, I forgot <laughs> today. It's going a bit late. Yes, yeah, scheduling stuff is hard. Like, I normally try to, like, put videos up the day after I record them at the very least. Like, especially with stream VODs. They should go up the day after, or day after that. At the very most, I have two videos in a day. But, it says before, I put education first. I'm paying a lot of money to be here. So if I need to focus on this, then I'll focus on it. Ooh, failed rendering. I, I've i never really had any huge problems with that, but it's still very annoying. The best of in form? I don't know. I, I love Executor because of how ridiculous it is. But I also really love Raichu because it's really good. Also, I'm not really paying attention to the game. So, bye, Jinx. Oh. I don't care about you, Jinx. I got other Pokemon. Let's get Dragonite in there. By the way, so far, Dragonite's been my, like, plan B. And it always works. Oh, Dragon Fang. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot. Do you have an item on you? No, you don't. You don't have one on you. So we should give you an item. Either a Miracle Seed... Or Dragon Fang, whichever we have. No, we don't have, uh... 
Natural seed. Big root? No. Yeah, I'll put the Dragon Fang on you. For your one dragon move. Okay. Oh boy. This is a fun room. Will they add multiple save files? I hope so. I think some of the reasons they don't do that is so you can't, like, get tons of multiples of legendaries or event Pokemon. That's probably why. They don't let you do that. Fan games let you do that. But I don't know if they'll do it for the main game ever. Yeah, I can see why they don't. Had to buy another game for me to replay it. Yeah, I guess so. It's shocking! Up, oh, up. Oh. I'm surrounded. No. With our powers combined. Operator Mike. Nice to meet you, Mike. All right. Seed bomb. Oh no, oh I'm grass. I forgot. I got this Dragonite like really early on. And uh, because of its base stats, it's uh... Pretty overpowered. I'm gonna get Moon. My brother just loves fire types, and even though uh, the lion isn't a fire type, it's close enough, I think. I'll have to double check with him. Oh, right, this was before, like, Horde Trader Battles, so you couldn't, like, have five Pokemon against yours. Oh, I remember, like, in uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and the, like, post-game stuff. There's, uh... I forgot. Oh, yeah, it was, like, a... It was, like, Team Aqua slash Magma, whichever one it was. That, uh, your game was. Yes, yeah, sold in the inverted time. Yeah, that, that, that's, that sounds pretty cool. But, uh... They sent out five Mighty Enas. With... All with Intimidate. So, five Intimidates going off at once. Luckily, Surf, which hits all of them, is not a physical move. So, uh, the Intimidates did nothing. <laughs> Whoops. Hello, Growlithe. All right. Almost there. Drag Claw. There we go. I remember back in the day when uh, Spiritomb was a thing. Some people would like. I heard that some people would like cheat and give Spiritomb like uh. What was it, Wonder Guard? And because... Before Fairy Type, there... Let's see, Dark and Ghost, there was no way to actually deal super effective damage to it. So Wonder Guard on Spear Tomb was... Mostly invincible. Like, I think you do status effects and stuff on it, so... It wasn't completely invincible. 
But yeah, that was really cheap. Some people did that. Also, Sableye has that same typing. But uh, thanks to Fairy, I don't know if there's a type combination that has no weaknesses anymore. Up. Oh. Music change, you know what that means. It means bus time. All right. Is there anything on the right side? No. Might as well sit up. Oh, dang it. No. It won't let me save. Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess they didn't make and a 3D model. There he is. Oh, so... All Animons do is become the Pokemon League champion. Got it. That's all he wants. And I, you need all the badges first. You can't just fight the champion. You need to get the badges first. They're not going to let you in. All right. Hmm. Where could the lightstone be? I wonder. How could this happen to me? He's the hero. I heard you from downstairs. Oh, it's that guy! Oh no! Just like all the other legendary Pokémon that have the power to destroy the world. Will Aerodactyl get in Lolan form? Maybe. I'm not sure. Well, I mean... Doesn't Aerodactyl have a Mega form, though? Any other fossil Pokemon? Maybe other fossil Pokemon, but... Not if they have Mega forms, I'd imagine. Okay. Favorite type? I don't know. Don't really have a favorite type that much. Past Route 4 in the Desert Resort. Okay, so I have to go there. Can Megrops are coming back? I, I don't see why not. Where's the Desert Resort at? Okay, here. I mean, they haven't talked about any new Megas, but I'm assuming they're going to keep that in for the sake of, like, competitive stuff. I don't know if they'll keep it in the main game, though. Just because they haven't mentioned it doesn't mean it's confirmed either way. Uh, 
I mean, it wouldn't make sense to get rid of that whole mechanic after they... Yeah. Yeah, no new Megas yet. But they're not going to get rid of it, no. Absolutely not. Really, guy? You want to fight me? Hold on. How, how good are your Pokemon? One Curlia. Level 19. Yeah, just just go away. Come on. Just leave. Well, they're not replacing it, I think. If anything, they may, like... They might give you the Mega stuff later on in the game, but they're not going to get rid of it. They wouldn't do that. Wouldn't make any sense for them to do it. Desert Resort. Okay, where is that Relic Castle place? Where are you? I oh, found you. There we go. Yeah, Gen 5 sprites. Gen 5 is my favorite, and the animated sprites, I really love it. It's a shame it took them that long to do it, and that immediately afterwards... Wait, hold on. It's a shame that immediately after that... Like, it only happened for, like... Like, Black, White, and Black, White 2. And then just went to the 3D models. It's a bit of a shame that this only happened Gen 5. They're gonna be a post-game word. Yeah, that's what I'm... That's what I'm thinking. They haven't mentioned anything about Mega, so... If anything... I mean, they're not going to get rid of them. Absolutely not. Besides, they have competitive stuff. They wouldn't just throw away a mechanic like that. If anything, they're going to... The Z-moves are going to add more to it. The 3D models are pretty dull. Yeah. Because... You can add a lot more personality... In, like, sprites, I've learned. Just looking at some stuff... Just looking at other sprites in other games, like... You can add a lot more personality in 2D than you can in 3D models sometimes. Will Jensen be the last among the games? As long as he keeps making the money, no. I don't think so. Whether or not they make more generations of Pokemon, I don't know. But Pokemon's one of their biggest series and he keeps making the money, so I don't see why they would stop making it. The Sun Moon 3 to Malls are more expressive. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm just hoping that the games don't lag that much. That's a dumb theory. What do you mean? You mean the fact that they're going to keep making Pokemon games or what? It makes them money, so why would they stop making it? Random Porygon 2 in the middle of nowhere. Nah, I don't need it. The chat is full for once, yeah. So here's a little insight, guys. Theory is that some moves last the main games. Yeah, Pokemon's peak thinks to go. Well, still. I don't know, like, where he got this theory from, but... Think of it from a business standpoint. Yeah, like, he said Pokemon's at its peak thanks to Pokemon Go. Pokemon is booming, and if Pokemon Sun Moon makes a lot of money... Stupid theory about the YouTuber. The Game Theory! Thanks for watching! Sorry. But yeah, think of it from a business standpoint. If Pokemon's a huge series and they keep getting more money, especially thanks to Pokemon Go... It would not make any sense at all to stop making Pokemon games. I stopped watching, watching Game Theory a long time ago. Oh, it's not even? Game Theory, got it. 
If it's... If it's just one guy saying it, then it's probably not true. Yeah, some are definitely gonna make a lot of money. Look. Pokemon Go and the pre orders go up a lot. Yeah, that makes sense. So think of it this way. They're more likely to stop making Mario games than they are going to stop making Pokemon games. Piece makes sense together, I guess, but still. Oh, wait, no, I have to go down there, I think. Hey, welcome, people. You're stopping by. By the way, I'm streaming on both Twitch and YouTube, so there's two chats I'm looking at, so it may get a bit confusing. Sorry about that. Yeah, they definitely aren't the end. Absolutely not. They're gonna make Pokemon until it stops making them money. That's how this stuff works. That's how they keep making more Call of Duty games. Yeah, whether or not they're gonna make more generations, I'm not entirely sure. Since 7 is a bit ridiculous. But I don't know. They can make more generations, who knows. Oh, you're here. Alright. Let's walk by you. Yeah, they did just announce Mario Run, so... They're not going to stop Mario, they're not going to stop Pokemon. That's not how business works. They won't stop until they reach a thousand Pokemon. I mean, they're getting close. They're already like... 720-something. And they are adding more Pokemon. Like, a bit more than Gen 6, but not by much, I think, from what I've heard. So it might not get to 1,000 for a while, but they're getting close. Zelda hype. Yeah, I don't know. The anime doesn't equal the games. Yeah. I haven't watched the anime in forever because it got way too formulaic. So here's... I stopped watching at, like, 3rd gen. Metroid is pretty much dead, yeah. For Federation Force, like, from what I've heard, it's not a bad game, but it's a bad Metroid game. Nintendo stopping any half decent franchise would be like Apple stopped making iPhones. Exactly. But uh, back to the anime. So I stopped watching it around Gen 3, part of the anime, because... It got boring, because it was too formulaic, personally. So here's how every episode of Pokemon usually goes. For the most part, like, unless there's, like, gym battles or Pokemon League stuff. So every normal episode. Here's what it's like. The gang is traveling this way. Oh, there's a person here that we'll only see for this one episode, basically. Ah, uh, blah, blah let's, let's hang out for a while. We're doing this cool thing. Up, oh, suddenly Team Rocket. Let's fight them. Oh, no, they took Pikachu or some other Pokemon that's in the episode. Oh, we beat him. All right, we're going to... All right, we got to leave now. Bye, person. We're never going to see you again. Or if we will, it'll be like a throw... It'll be like a one callback and then never again. I just why we made Pokemon... Make, made Ash lose Lee again. I know. But he's getting better. He got second place. He got second place, he's getting better. Maybe in like, a few more seasons, he might win. They'll get rid of Pikachu. No! Yeah, but yeah, that's literally every main episode of the anime. That is the formula every time, that's why I stopped watching it. It's like, yeah, there's a bit of... It's like, there's a bit of variety every now and then, but that's basically every episode. Like, gym battles and Pokemon League stuff. That's like... That, at least you have a gym battle or something in it, but 
Happen soon as well, yeah. The advertisement may look like it's gonna win. Oh, of course! At least it shows that Ash is not the perfect trainer. Because he loses! There's conflict. Why'd they get rid of Pikachu? I don't... Who said they're gonna get rid of Pikachu? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean... Same thing with the... Yeah, <laughs> Pikachu makes too much money. There's that argument again. Pikachu's like the mascot of Pokemon. Getting rid of Pikachu, who's a main character, that'd be like getting rid of Ash. Alone Raichu would be Ash's partner. That'd be interesting, but no. They're they're not going to evolve Pikachu. Nah. They didn't need to evolve him when uh They need to evolve him in fighting uh Lieutenant Surge. By the way. <laughs> According to the games and anime, America is an actual place, and France. Those are canon places, because I think at some point someone says, oh, let's go to France, and then there's also Kalos, which is also France. And then there's the uh, Minnesota Vikings joke in the first movie. And Lieutenant Surge is literally called the Lightning American. So those places canonically exist in Pokemon, and I love it. 20 years of losing in a league. Exactly. Ash is never gonna win. But I do like how Ash does lose. Sometimes. There is legitimate conflict and he does lose. It's not completely one note. Anime games are not the same universe. Okay, but in the games, Lieutenant Surge is Lightning American. And in the anime, Minnesota exists. In both universes, some part of America exists. That is... either way. If not, even if they're not in the same universe, both of them reference America in some way. So America does exist. In the Pokémon world. And I love it. Nope. Oh, oh, game. <laughs> Lightning, you you know, Vin. Sun and Moon has no gyms. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm not entirely sure what they're going to do with that. That'd be interesting to see. They're doing a lot of things different with Sun and Moon, which is which is good. They're experimenting a bit. Whether or not it's gonna work, I'm not sure, but it looks good. And I'm excited. It's a bit of a refresher from everything. He's gonna get Rowlet, though. Ash will get every starter. He always gets, like, every starter at some point. Most of the time, I think. Has he gotten all of them in X and Y? I'm trying to move in the real world. Yeah. I have seen some of the starter Evo leaks. I'm annoyed that the uh, Litten final Evo looks like it's fighting, but it's not. It's still. Ultimate Reality Japan, that's why I reference. Yeah, I guess so. He typically only gets one? Really? His companions get the rest. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember now. He got all of them in Gen 1, but... No, he also got all of them in Gen 2 as well. I think it's starting in Gen 3 that... He stopped getting all three. And I haven't watched the anime in many years. So I have no clue. Mallow? Wait. I think I missed something. Oh, Turtwig! Ah! Oh, little Turtwig! Mallow? Is that spelled correctly? Or Gen 5 got them all? Mallow as in Super Mario RPG Mallow?
I'm using a mod. I am using... <gasps> Hold on. It's a Regigigas. I am using some cheats for the purpose of progress. Like, I have double movement speed on. For the sake of actually progressing at a, as a decent speed. Because if I wanted to play a normal Pokemon game, play a normal Pokemon game. But this is randomized. Nothing's gonna go as planned. Oh, the green-haired girl. That's Mallow. That's Mallow. Okay. I was like, Super Mario RPG crossover? I'm excited about all the crazy fan theories people have been making about the game so far. Water fighting. Wow. Okay, I'm definitely putting this on my team. Just for the stats alone. And also he's going to have a different ability as well. So next time I go to Pokemon Center, I am absolutely going to switch out my team a bit. Another one, okay, well, fair enough. I think that's the first real legendary I've caught in this game so far. I'm not sure, I have to look back, or just check my PC. Oh, crud, well, messed that up. Wait, wait a minute. I messed up the dungeon. I'm sorry. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I messed something up here. Hold on. I'm not paying attention. I'm focusing on chat. By the way... Because there's a lot of people in the chat... This is a completely different dynamic now. Because I'm used to there being, like, at most one person in the chat, basically. One or two people. So. I don't know. This is a lot better. Just actually interacting with people more often. Oh, that's this is a trainer. Whoops. I forgot. But yeah, I never have this many people in my chat. I should... I should link my stuff in the Discord more often. This is very cool. It's nice having people to talk to in chat. Because most of the time I'm just... Alright, I'll... It's basically just a normal Let's Play thingy. Is this what's like to be famous? Guys, is this what's like to be internet famous? Because honestly, this has been a lot more fun than the other times I streamed this game. Just because of the fact there's a lot of people here. Like, more so than normal. How much longer is this dungeon? Jeez. Oh, Dragon Tree. Held up. Oh, I, I forgot it was the PP that was low. I remember that. that's why I switched. Oh no. So we've been going for like 50 minutes or so. I'll probably switch over to the server after I beat this dungeon. Oh no. That would be lit. Ah. Man, no one's ever made that joke about Litten before. <laughs> That's a whole new one.
Really? Still? All right. Admittedly, I should be paying attention to the game more, but it's more fun interacting with chat sometimes. Hurtier. Yellow strats. It's keeping him in. Yellow strats. Lynn's not going to be fire. Yeah, that's a very weird combination to be, especially for a starter. Leaks are saying fire. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Like, Volcanion's probably the closest thing to a weird combination like that. Volcanion's like fire water, I think. But fire ice does sound a bit weird. I'm not entirely sure. Like, we can speculate all we want. Whether or not the leaves are true, no one really knows. No matter what, I'm still gonna be excited, because it's Pokemon. Alright, Ludicolo. What are you? Weak to rock is what you are. Aw oh, man, we having an argument in chat. Are you debating leaks and stuff? Up, oh. Sharon, how'd you? How'd you catch up so fast? Why didn't you help me this entire time? That'd have been great. Oh, it's a three on one. Ludicolo is bay, yeah. You know, I, I, I feel like... People don't appreciate the Pokemon Coliseum games enough. Like, I understand because it's a spinoff, but... Mirror B, though. Mirror B is the best character in the entire series. Mirror B. It's <laughs> All the Ludicolo. And in one battle, he has a Sudowoodo along with the... Ludicolo, which is... Just... The ultimate punchline to that. I personally really love the Coliseum games. It was a bit annoying how everything was a double battle, though. Yes, Mira B. I'm glad you also enjoy Mira B. Gotta go. Alright, we'll see ya. Thank you for stopping by. Why don't we go outside? Into the sandstorm. It's hard to breathe here. It's hard to breathe on the surface with the sandstorm. Yeah, it sure is easy to breathe up here, guys. I'm glad we left the indoors area to go up here where it's easier to breathe. Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, it's a telemark- oh, no, it's not a telemarketer. It's the professor. Hello? Can you hear me now? Ah, oh, there we go. That's- that's how- that's how we gotta do it. Okay. Beat the dungeon. Gonna go to Night Green City next time. We're gonna move on to the uh, server. I got a fair amount of stuff I need to pull up first. Yeah, that's it for Pokemon for now. Well, I got to get back to this. It was fun. Fun chat with people as well.